Express House. I'm going to say welcome to the uh, Mr. 100 blog. Been a minute since I've been on here doing this here, but uh, I guess let's get to it off the top. Uh, all this here back and forth about President Obama and uh, Obamacare and, and shutting down the government, and I hear folks talking about, yeah, 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 he, uh, uh, he's not what I expect him to do. You expect him to give you a handout. And I'm talking about all the all the African Americans. Y'all expect this man to give you a handout. Y'all weren't saying all that when when the Republicans and all them was just uh, making decisions and uh, uh, based upon what they feel is uh, best. And then you just say, well, that's just the Republicans. But with him, you gotta you got you you got you gotta put a twist on it and and say he doing this here because you expected a handout. You thought you thought because he got elected, you was gonna be able to go break the law and every damn thing else. Come on, man. Be real. How y'all gonna put this pressure on this man like this? This man doing the best he can with what he had dropped in his lap. And as far as Obamacare go, I'm digging it. Cause you know why? At the end of the day, your health is more important than anything else, right? They forcing you to get car insurance, and when your ass have a wreck, they don't want to pay your car, right? They don't want to pay you, give you nothing with it, nearly what it's what it's worth, right? They force you to have that uh, uh, auto insurance, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, y'all talk all this old mumble mouth ass shit. Well, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, excuse my French. Uh, this mumble mouth jargon that y'all continuously, and this rhetoric that y'all rhetoric that y'all continuously have, and then at the end of the day, when you get to that emergency room and they tell you you had this here, all of a sudden you stacking up all these uh, bills that's coming to you the next five, six, seven, eight, nine years that you owe the emergency room and you owe this here, know this doctor, but that doctor actually saved your life, but y'all want to complain about it. So I think it's a good thing for the, everybody to be able, especially self-employed people. It's easy to get better to get insurance than not to have insurance, and you got to go work for these old places that just so you can get insurance, but giving you minimum wage so you can just you get some insurance. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I've been a business owner for six years now, or whatever, and you know I had to step back and evaluate my business and put a pause on it. But you know what I'm saying? What you want me to do? It's like I'm back. But anyway, that's another story. Uh, what I think you need to do is just count your blessings, because this man is trying to do something for uh, for this country, and y'all looking at it like, oh, oh, they giving you all that old rhetoric about how much it's gonna cost a, a, a month, and that's a damn lie. That 300, I don't see where they get these numbers from. Y'all obviously ain't listening. All y'all hearing is what them folks telling you now. So you think because he ain't giving you a free handout, you you think everything, you you think he against you. So I'm sick and tired of all the poor people and all the middle class people talking about, oh, he's not doing what I thought he was going to do. Uh, the Republicans and all the other people ain't done nothing you thought they were going to do from the get-go. You know what I'm saying? So I guess y'all enjoy Bush, huh? You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to get your head out your butts because it does stink up there. And you need to get your mind right, man. Get it correct. This man is doing the best he can with what was dropped in his lap. Bottom line. I don't care who you are, white, black, Chinese, uh, Indian, poor, rich, whatever. I'm sorry. This man is doing the best he can with what he got dropped in his lap. And obviously you put him back in there for a second term. Don't think it was just all the African Americans who put him back in there. Come on. Wake up, smell, smell of coffee. I'll be back with more later on another topic. Thanks.